is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to Money Monday, where I will show you different ways to make money every single Monday. On this Money Monday, I'm going to be sharing with you different pieces of trash that you can save up to turn it into cash. I know what you're thinking, Margaret, we've seen these kind of videos before. We already know we can save toilet paper tubes. But I'm going to share a few different things that you may not have thought of before. These are perfect things to ask people to help you save up, whether you're trying to earn a little bit of extra money as a stay-at-home mom or even a kid trying to earn a little bit of extra money. My kids are always looking for ways to earn extra money, so this is perfect for them. Number 10, empty candle jars. Candle. So let's take a look at some of these empty candle jars on eBay. Now these would be things that would generally get thrown away or put into the recycle bin, but these would be so easy for friends, family, people around the office to save up to help you or your kid make a little money as a side hustle. So this candle jar sold for $22. That's one jar. I know a lot of people who love Bath and Body Works candles, and here is a lot of three that sold for six bucks. Again, some more empty Bath and Body Works glass jar selling for $8. This may not seem like a lot of money, but when you're a stay-at-home mom or you're really working hard to get that debt paid down or you're a kid trying to earn a little bit of extra money, that 8 bucks is nothing to sneeze at. Here are some Yankee Candle jars that sold for $12.97. How many people do you know that love candles, that have candles all over their house or their office? Why not ask them to save those jars for you when they are done? Number nine. Bamboo. Yeah, bamboo. All right, let's talk about bamboo for a minute. If you know somebody who grows bamboo, my dad grew a ton of bamboo. He cut it all down eventually because it grows. It's very invasive. So he was constantly having to whack it back, whack it back. But that left me with a huge supply of bamboo and people buy it. When I had my antique booth, I used it to create displays. People use them in their gardens to create natural trellises and things for their beans to climb up. People buy bamboo. Now, I never sold it on eBay. I sold it locally, and I would sell it for about a dollar a shaft. I probably could have gotten a lot more. One time, I sold one piece of bamboo for five bucks. So these are pieces of bamboo now i don't know how to ship them i mean i guess you'd figure it out right if you're growing bamboo or you know somebody who has i mean the big bamboo in their backyard this can sell so here we go 25 sold for 29 17 or 16. some of these are from suppliers but like this is from somebody's backyard you know 19 dollars. so if you've got bamboo in your backyard you or or know somebody cut some down take off those leaves and sell it on eBay or locally if you don't want to ship it. People will buy it. Number eight, pine cones. If you have got a pine tree or some woods near your house, go start collecting those pine cones because people buy them for crafts. These are sold listings on eBay this year. Five to eight large real pine cones, $15.94. Here's one that sold for, I mean, it's five bucks. But these are things you could get the kids to pick up out of the yard. Five bucks. If you have the extra large, look at these, extra large ponderosa pine, four of them for $20. Here's 25 big Georgia pine cones, $22. So if you live in one of these areas and you've got a big pine tree that makes big pine cones, you're sitting on a pile of cash. But even if you've got real regular pine cones, grab up 30 of them, stick them in a bag, $17.98 coming your way. Now that is an easy, absolutely free way to earn a little bit of extra cash. Number seven, used wine corks. Wine corks. If only I had saved every wine cork from every bottle I have ever drank from, I could be sitting on 20 bucks right now. How many of you have friends who love wine or a local wine bar nearby that goes through hundreds of bottles of wine a week? Why not ask them to save those corks for you? People use wine corks to do lots of different projects. There are tons of different projects on Pinterest using corks. And I know my sister uses them as bee life rafts. I'm not joking. She has a big trough of water out in the middle of nowhere. She's a, she's a beekeeper. She will throw the corks into these big troughs of water so when the bees need a drink, they've got a little landing spot to drink their water from. Isn't that adorable? So here's a lot of 100 corks that sold for $13.50. Keep your eyes open for friends with a glass of wine and ask them if they will save those corks for you. 
Number six, empty printer ink cartridges. How many of us have got a bag full of empty print cartridges? I never thought of actually putting my used empty print cartridges up on eBay to sell. So here's a lot of six that sold for $12.57. Here's a lot of six that sold for 20 bucks. All different kinds. If you scroll through the solds on eBay of empty print cartridges, you will see money after money after money of things that, that you might just throw away. And think about your office. How many people go through print cartridges in your office or at your school? Why not ask them to save those print cartridges for you so that you can flip them on eBay? Number five, empty product boxes. All right, let's talk about empty product boxes. I can't count how many I have thrown away without even considering that they might be worth some money. Let me take you through a few of these listings. So this is an empty white box that your iPhone comes in. I mean, how many of us have iPhones out there? So this box sold for $9.99. So that's something that would have just been thrown away or thrown in the back of the closet. Here's an empty box for an Apple iMac. This sold for $20. This empty box has the user's manual for this Canon 80D, sold for $15. I am kicking myself so hard right now because I cannot count how many Apple earbuds I have gone through and how many of these little boxes have passed through my hands and into the recycling bin. I could have saved them up and sold three of them for six bucks. Number four, branded paper store bags. Y'all, I can't make this up. People buy empty bags from stores. Okay, Chanel, I kind of get it. Gucci, high-end, but it's not all just high-end bags. Take a look. Like, I'm not shopping at Gucci, right? So I don't, I'm not going to come across Gucci bags, but some of these I am. Look, Victoria's Secrets. If you have 12 Victoria's Secret gift bags, you can get a buck a piece for them. These are Target holiday bags. These sold for $23.89. I'm just thinking... How many gift bags are in my house around Christmas time? I can save them up and flip them on eBay for 23 bucks. Sephora, oh my goodness. Don't even, don't even. Sephora, I, I'm like a Sephora junkie. A lot of six Sephora bags sold for $12.95. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm gonna start saving my Sephora bags. <laughs> Live and learn, right? Starbucks bags too. How many of us go to Starbucks or know somebody who goes to Starbucks who brings their Starbucks bag into the office every day? Start asking them to save that bag for you because this 33 Starbucks bag sold for $19.99. Save those bags. Mm -hmm. Number three, broken crayons. I have a bag, a gallon bag full of broken crayons because I just can't bear to throw them away and I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to make those really cute Pinterest melty crayon heart shaped things that I never do. But people buy these. So take a look at these eBay solds, not the lipstick one. But look, crayons, bulk lot, broken new, craft project, $17.99. So if you've got extra broken crayons laying around the house like I do, why not throw them into a bag or have the kids throw them into a bag and start saving them up to create a five pound lot to sell for $17.99. Number two, wire coat hangers. Yeah, wire coat hangers. Paging mommy dearest, mommy dearest. A lot of people are getting rid of their wire coat hangers. Why not ask them to send them your way, collect up a lot and sell them for 10 bucks. Here's a lot of 200 that sold for $17.95. For something that might get thrown away or shoved into a donation bag, you can make a few extra bucks selling wire coat hangers. And the number one, weirdest one, used pantyhose. Yeah. Okay, pantyhose. So people buy used pantyhose. They do. There are a few different types of buyers. There are the freaky deaky buyers that have a thing for used pantyhose. And then there are people that are crafters that buy pantyhose that that's used. They do, they really do. The proof is in the solds, right? So these are eBay solds. Here, let's see, right here, sold listings. No joke. So here are some eBay solds. A lot of six assorted worn pantyhose, $41.50. A lot of designer Pantyhose new pre-owned tights, 
Now, I'm not sure that I would recommend you asking the ladies in your office uh, to give you their used pantyhose when they're done because you might be looking at a sexual harassment, but <laughs> if you know anybody or you yourself wear pantyhose, you might consider when they get runs or not be usable for wearing as pantyhose anymore, consider lining them up to sell on, <laughs> on eBay. I can't imagine my son going door to door asking people to save their used pantyhose for him so that he could sell them on eBay. But necessity is the mother of invention, right? Leaving the freaky deekies aside, no judgment if you are into the pantyhose. Don't write me an email letting me know why. I think I know why. And again, no judgment. <laughs> Look at this. Lot of $113, $110. Why do people want used pantyhose? Let's take a look. So I did a bit of digging and it was very educational. <laughs> um, people use used pantyhose to make a dusting tool or clean the bathrooms or scrub their pans. I'm just thinking, oh darn, I got a runner. Oh honey, pass me them hose. I'm scrubbing the dishes, they could come in handy. Right? No. <laughs> anyway, anyway, but maybe store wrapping paper. Protect your wrapping paper rolls and store them in the stick. Can you imagine if you walked into your friend's house and were like, oh, I'm, I need some gift wrap. Oh, it's in the closet, honey. Go on and get some. And you go into the closet and there's like all this toilet paper like shoved into pantyhose. I would pay to see that. If you do this, I want to see a picture. Send me a picture because I really, I really want to see this. Okay, moving on, moving on. It's funny to me. No, again, I'm not judging you. It's just funny. Okay, so this is this is a blog. A lady is dyeing her pantyhose. She's showing you how to dye your pantyhose if you want them a different color. That's useful. I don't know if I'd buy ones to do that. And then there's on Pinterest. Pinterest has everything. Um, crafts that you can do. Okay, if you want to dye your pantyhose, I see now. Let's say you want to get some pantyhose and dye them and make really pretty little flowers and things. Or whatever this is, I think it's a lion, a little lion. So yeah, there's lots of interesting creatures that can be made with used pantyhose and headbands and things like this. So there's that. Okay, now here's, I can't make this up. Someone is using it as cheesecloth. And if you know, you make when you make cheese, you have to hang it in the cheesecloth to let it think you know where I'm going with this. And you have to let it hang in the cheesecloth to let the moisture drip out of the cheese. Okay, children avert your eyes. So here someone has used their nylons, their used pantyhose as cheesecloth for their, for their cheese. So we'll just leave it right there, yeah. Leave me a comment down below letting me know of another piece of trash to bring you some cash and make sure you check out the comment section because a lot of times people leave excellent ideas that I never would have thought of. So there's lots of great ideas being left down in the comment section. So make sure you check it out. If you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you subscribe. My channel's all about frugal living and different ways to make and save money. If you know a family with or without kids that could use a little extra cash, I would love it if you would share this video with them. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will talk to you next time. Bye. These are perfect things that are easy to save up. I could be sitting on 20 bucks right now. Would I sit on 20 bucks? I might sit on 20 bucks. I don't know. <laughs>